x, then plus y is equal to 8. And please find the minimum value of x squared, then plus y squared. Oh my god! What should you do? In this video, I'm going to show you three methods to this question. Are you ready? Let's go! The first method. Okay, what should you do? Of course. x, y, x, y. It's binomial. I don't like it. So what should you do? Of course, we should substitute. From the first term, x plus y is equal to 8. We can write x as a term of y. 8 minus y. And then we should substitute it into our second term. Which term is it? x squared plus y squared. And we should find a minimum value of this term. So then, that means x squared then plus y squared. Now, x is equal to 8 minus y. So that's 8 minus y. Here is squared, and then squared, then plus y squared. So easy. And then simplify. I'm going to simplify it with you. Let's simplify it together. Okay. Now, a minus b all squared it is a squared minus 2ab then plus b squared. So 8 then minus y all squared it is 8 squared 64. Minus 2 times 8 then times y. 16y plus y squared. And then plus y squared. And you can see that how many y squares are there? Of course, 2. So then, what should you do? That is 2y squared, and then minus 16y, plus 64. Now you can see that this term. Take a look at the coefficients. All of them are divisible by 2. So now, take out a 2. That is 2 times y squared minus 8y plus 32 in the bracket. However, the term in the bracket should look more beautiful, more handsome. Why? Since y squared minus 8y. We can build a binomial formula. a squared negative 2ab. And then we lack a b squared. Now we should find this b. What's the value of this b? y squared is y squared. Minus 8 squared, we can write it as minus 2 and then times 4 and then times y. So we know that b is 4. So now, if we can add 4 squared, then the thing in the bracket, or a section from the thing in the bracket, can be written as a binomial formula. So it is 2 times y squared minus 8y and then plus 4 squared 16. Now we should write 32. So now we've added a 16 here. So it only lack 16 right here. Now we know that this thing is a binomial formula. It is y minus 4 all squared. So it is equal to, I'm going to write it in this way. It is 2 times y minus 4 all squared. Here, plus 16, here should times 2. So now, plus 2 times 16, 32. They're actually the same. So now, here, a square term. What should we do with it? Of course, we have succeeded. The success is coming. Y minus 4 all squared. The base is not important. The importance is the exponent 2. 
It is a square term. A square term is always non-negative. This is a very very important point. So then what should you? Of course, we can get the answer. It is always greater than or equal to two times zero, then plus thirty-two. So the minimum value is. 32. Now stop. Now this is only the first method. I have the second method as well. Method number two. In the first method, we wrote x as a term of y, and now I don't want an x. I don't want a y. I can write x and y, both of them. As a term of another variable, what's the variable? Of course, I'm gonna write it as a, for example, because the sum of x and y is eight. The average is four, of course. The mean of x and y is four. So that means we can write x as four plus eight, and y four minus eight. Therefore, the sum of x and y is four plus four plus a minus a, that is eight. Since plus a and minus a will cancel out each other, so now we can substitute the new terms into our this term, x squared then plus y squared. That is four plus a. All squared, and then plus four minus a, all squared. Sixteen plus eight a, plus a squared, and then plus sixteen minus eight a, plus a squared. Two terms can cancel out each other. Plus it a minus it a. So what's left? A squared plus a squared plus sixteen plus sixteen. The final term is two times a squared plus thirty-two. That's actually the same form as this. Why? Since in this case, a squared, it is non-negative. So it is greater than or equal to two times zero and then plus thirty-two, and the same answer will come. Now stop, 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 stop. That is the second method. Certainly, I have the third method as well. I need some place right here. Now. I'm gonna use this thing. A m is always greater than or equal to g m. What does it mean? The algebraic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. That is it. So easy. However, what should you do? Of course, the algebraic mean from x plus y. It is. The sum of them and then divided by two, since there are two numbers x and y, greater than or equal to g m, the square root of the multiplication of them x times y. Now we can substitute x as x squared and y as y squared. At the same time, multiply by two on both sides. And then I'm gonna add x squared and plus y squared on the both sides. The left hand side. The left hand side is of course two times x squared. 
then plus y squared. And the right hand side, x squared then plus y squared and then plus 2xy. It is exactly x plus y all squared. So now we have got the relationship between x squared plus y squared and x plus y. So the final step is x squared then plus y squared. It is greater than or equal to x plus y all squared and then divided by 2. So that's the formula. That means x squared then plus y squared is greater than or equal to a squared then divided by 2. That is exactly 32. And its minimum value is 32 when x is equal to y is equal to 4. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!